you have been here uh, twice before. You've been sitting back here for a while. You watched some acts on the uh, the stage earlier. What's John Conlon? Yeah. What's what, what's the impression of coming back to Hodeg? Uh, just the name Hodeg. I remember it so well. It's it's got a unique name, and I remember both times being here was fun, and I was surprised that it had been so long since I'd been here. So are we. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. No it doubt. Never did work out, I guess. You've got a ton of number one records. You've got a ton of touring. You've got all these things behind you. Two questions. A, are you happy with where you are? And you've got a new album and stuff coming out. What's the future hold? Uh, very happy with where I am. Um, accomplished uh, more than I could have ever dreamed when I set out what I was, you know, what I was dreaming for. We surpassed that a long time ago. But it's a, uh, uh, I work as much as I want to work, and it works out to where I work about half the year and and live about half the year and live it up. And um, we do. We've had a album pretty much finished and in the can for a while, but we threw out all that collection of bus songs last year. So um, we're going to get all that behind us, um, and then uh, I'll, I'll try to come with a new record at some point, a new new single off of a new album. I understand your uh, daughter's got some works. She does. She's got a single out, her and Lance Carpenter, and um, it's doing well. She's She likes to bust it. She works as hard as I did. I, she watched me go at it, so she knows what it takes, so she's willing to, to go. She's just got to find her audience and have that hit, but you're always three minutes away in this world. Exactly. My daughters and my granddaughters, one of their favorite movies is Broken Bridges. Oh, good. And wondering about if there's anything else on that field for you. You know, uh, it was so much fun crossing that bridge and doing that. If something came along that made a lot of sense and didn't take much time, I would consider it, it was it was really challenging to uh, get with an acting coach and spend all that time doing something like a fish out of water, mm -hmm. trying to accomplish something. Writing songs is like my God-given uh, I'm blessed that God gave me the ability to write songs better than I do anything else. So that comes from second nature to me. But um, get going into something like acting was was um, I was determined to do the best I could do. And they're really long, and they're really uh, most movies fail. So you look at the end of the year. There's only a bucket full of movies that made him money, and um, but there was millions of movies made and so the, to, to do it it takes so much time out of your schedule and then it takes so much uh, uh, you know you can't work while you're doing that and then if you don't have a big hit movie then you're just it's kind of a break even situation so I got the uh, I wanted to do it to say I did it a couple times and we did it um, very proud of them it was fun doing it was uh, very sad when they're over because you're with those people every day for months and then all of a sudden you might not ever see them again. Exactly. Uh, so it's kind of melancholy, bittersweet there. And then, uh, you know, get to work with Burt Reynolds, uh, Kelly Preston, uh, Tess Harper. Lindsey Hahn. You know, Lindsey. Lindsey. So it, 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 um, it was all good and fine, but I just don't know if I want to spend three or four months of my life I'd rather just go to Cabo and drink tequila and eat tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> Finally, you've got a, a great tour going here. Uh, what's that holding for you? What do you want to uh, finish up the year on? Well, we're celebrating the 25th anniversary of Should Have Been a Cowboy. So um, I didn't even know when it was 20 years old. You know, it just we worked so hard for so many years that I never pulled my nose up off the grindstone long enough to know. And they said, this is the 25th year, and I was like, hell, I didn't even know it was 20 years old, but it's, um, it, it was a song that launched a career, you know, Hall of Fame career. And um, I saw so many people come and go in the years, and during that year when that song was out, really talented people that never got a second shot because their first couple things didn't work, and they moved on, flavor of the month kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that song was so big, coming out of the box that it actually gave me three swings. You know what I mean? Yes, it's like I could have a hit, miss, hit, miss, hit, miss, and still they would listen to my next one. 
whereas people don't usually get more than a couple of swings at the plate. And that song really set me up and allowed me to breathe and and find my audience and find musically find what I was supposed to do and and uh, where I was going. So I, I owe everything in my career to that song. So we're celebrating it this year. <laughs>